Hey everyone, it's me, the Keeper of Secrets, Sir Bubble. And also, I'm a junk bot. Obviously. I mean, why wouldn't I? It's junk bot week. Um, I finished the bubble pass, so I haven't got premium yet, but I'll show that at some point. Uh, you, are, you saw what pets I'm about to show now, but uh, first... Was it... Did it have Bond in the name? No. First, I want to show the bubble pass pet, but now I can't remember what it is called. Cosmic Rift. Also... If you guys didn't know, this uh, pet Glacial Bond was actually taken from an idea on like Twitter or something where someone had made like a bunch of drawings of pets that they thought could maybe be in the Christmas event. So it wasn't added to the Christmas event, but it was still added into the game. So that's pretty cool. So unhide pet my pets. So yeah, it's nothing super crazy. It's it's basically the Luna. But then it's but it's purple instead of like a moon, and it has these like line these curves on it, whatever those things are. So I think it looks pretty good. I like it. And then, so the first thing I want to show you is the dice split, which is the new, uh, the new pet from the Shadow Realm egg. So, well, the new secret pet. So I gave a BGS plaque for this. Which was a good trade, and the reason I was able to do it is because my friend was working on making a shiny BGS plaque, and he actually has made the shiny BGS plaque, so I'll probably show that in a later video, like some other video, because I don't have it right now, and he's AFK, but... The dice split. First, we'll look at the stats. 113,750 bubbles, 450,612 coins, 454,967 gems, and 111,150 in every world. So that's very good. So if I equip this, let's take a look at it. And here it is. I think it definitely looks cool. All these pets that have like the black and white like swap on either side look good. And, I mean, it's dice with a crown. So it could have also been called, like, the Dice Lord. That would be pretty cool. Like, if it wasn't the split, that would be cool, too. But I'll, I think I like this. It looks very good. And, of course, it has great stats. The stats are actually almost as good as a Sinister Lord 2.0. Which probably isn't too surprising since it's, from, it, since it's you know, more recent than the Sinister Lord 2.0. But still, it's so much easier to get than a Sinister Lord 2.0. Although, well, yeah, it's close in stats. Next, I traded, I did, okay, that was just stuff for my alt account, but, um, is there anything? <laughs> oh yeah, I got a free shiny ducky. I'm so lucky. I know this was a bad trade, but it was to one of my friends. Uh... Here, I gave my Radiant one, which is 800%, for Angelic Spirit, 450%, Eternal Cucumber, 150%, and these two Shiny Limiteds, which were together, like, either 50%, were, like, 50% together. So I was overpaying by, like, 150% or something, but I don't know. That's the best effort I've, offer I've ever gotten. And, you know, I was getting two Secret Pets, I was getting Angelic Spirit, which is cool, I just realized, okay, yeah, I I should probably max out Angelic Spirit, because it has good stats, but it's not even maxed. So first, I'll show Eternal Cucumber, which I have had this pet before, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's also pretty funny. It's just like a cucumber, and then it's got the crown and the wings. It looks pretty cool. I like how you can kind of see inside of it. Crown looks good. Everything about it looks good. I really like it. And then, now it's time for this, the Angelic Spirit. This was uh, the harder secret pet to get. Wait, was it the harder one? I don't know. But in the the fourth egg in the Halloween uh, area, it had two secret pets. This and the Luminance. I can't remember if this was the harder one or the easier one, but it still, you know, wasn't easy to hatch. So I think it was either one in 10 million or one in like 40 or 50 million. But one of those was the 
luminance and one is this one, but I can't remember which. But here we go. And here it is. So one of the things that makes this look so cool is that, you know, the pet itself looks pretty cool, but it's, you know, a box, but it is like glowing and it's got those horns and the wings do look great. And the tail is, is fine. But what makes it look so really cool is just the particle thing it has. Because there's not a whole lot of secret pets I've seen with these kind of particle things. And it just really helps it look amazing. So right now with my main, my main team is a dice split, my angelic spirit, which is why I should probably max that. Well, I can give one shadow potion to it. There we go. Um, and then two cartoon exeriums, two shiny cartoon exeriums, and two shiny skull reapers. So that's my main team. And bubbles, I blow. Hold on. I blow one, one million fifty thousand bubbles. So I just need like fifty thousand more bubbles. And I'll be at 1.1 million. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if there's anything I've hatched that I haven't... Like from the new egg that I haven't shown you. Because I, I kind of went back to hatching uh, this egg instead of the new egg. Because I like how that egg has three secret pets and the new egg only has one. So I like how it has more secret pets. And also the easy secret pet to get from here is easier to get than the secret pet in that egg. Also, <laughs> I don't want this video to last too long because I don't want to waste my 100 hours of boosts. And no, I'm not hacking and no, I'm not rich. I just put in like all the existing codes. So if you guys need some like, if you guys don't have game passes and you want some help like getting good pets or you do have game passes, but you just want even more help, um, just find a, a list of like all the bubblegum simulator codes and then just spend like 15 minutes or however long it takes just putting in all the codes it's worth it because if you haven't uh put in any of the codes in the past you'll get like 120 or 130 hours of boosts so it's definitely worth it to do that um then let's go back to checking this because I got some... Ooh, I got a shiny tier 2. Other than that, I don't really think there's anything to show. But I'll check the tier 3. The Eternal Contrast. Yeah, I have 6 of them, so I don't have a shiny yet. But this is what the shiny tier 2 looks like. Ooh. The green kind of looks like the... Uh, the... Hold on, let me... Grab it. Not that. The Mythic Slime Overlord. They kind of have like the same greenish color. Although now that I see them side by side, it's a little different. This one's more just shiny. And this one isn't. But still, it's kind of similar. But yeah, that looks really cool. It honestly looks like it should be a Mythic. So a mythic of this, pro a mythic version of this probably looks really cool. But yeah, there's the galactic split. And then the last thing is that in my next video, I'm going to be trading uh, my dice split. And I was originally wanting to do it in this video, but the person that I'm trading isn't available right now. And I don't know when they will be. So I don't want to just be like surprised and then have to do the trade and not even get to show the dice split before I trade it. So I wanted to make this video now. Um, and I'm trading my dice split and like four shiny cartoon hexariums for two BGS plaques. So once I do that, I might be able to blow 1.1 million bubbles. And it'll be a good trade for me because I gave one BGS plaque for the dice split. And now... So it's basically going to be like I gave one BGS plaque and some shiny cartoon hexariums for two BGS plaques. Or just like I gave some shiny cartoon hexariums for a BGS plaque. Because the two the BGS plaques kind of cancel each other out. I don't know. But overall, I think it's going to be a good trade for me. Especially considering what I gave for the dice split. So 
I guess I'll see you in that video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.